Hi everybody, welcome to today's quick, quick tutorial. We're gonna look at some of the big 2D style sections today. Yeah, so as you can see, you see these clean uh, sections that you know sort of show the design concept and ideas, as in this star that they have done over here. Okay, so let's let's get into it. So we're gonna use Illustrator, as you can see. So let's open a new sheet in A4 format. Let's open it up, landscape. And start drawing up the forms using the rectangle tool very easy tool similar to photoshop draw it up then we'll draw the base of the rectangle make it a little thinner then just let's make it similar to that let's make the ground plane yeah that's all now let's copy all of that make the second image so we can just make it a lighter gray part of gray for now since it's not the design and we'll make the final end product that's at the last is black so let's make a little bit thicker let's draw the outlines that's that's there that show kind of like an heritage building i guess all right now as you see, can see i'm just drawing it like a uh, in a staggered form kind of imitating the diagram that they've already done for this building it's called a spiral and i think it's in the new york so now just take the pen tool and just take just change the stroke to white and we'll just draw an outline according to how it's almost there in the image we just draw a few more lines that's all uh, we'll just send it behind the section line now we'll just create one more of the white shape that's the podium level again looks good let us send it behind the section section line over there now let's create the final image so for that again just take the pen tool and we need to draw the staggered step shapes and subtract it from the main shape so let's first draw the the staggered step shapes approximately so this can change according to the designs that you guys have so the important thing over here is to draw the shape over the shape that you want to kind of subtract it from and use the pathfinder tool it's a very important tool in illustrator it's in windows go to pathfinder and just just select the subtract mode so we'll just copy it a few more times so you can use it for multiple objects copy it all together and just take the pathfinder tool and subtract it out so we'll just make it a little bit bigger it's not of imitating that image so this can vary again according to your design so I'm just doing it approximately for now. So you see we, got, we, we saw a little bit off. So we can just adjust those vertices and getting it equal in length. Now for let's finish it off with some trees. So just take the circle tool, draw a tree, it's bark and let's group it. And uh, we'll give it a good green color. Now we just create multiple copies in different scales so that you, the image doesn't look the trees don't so that the trees don't look very similar we will then just copy it and we can just reflect it so that it looks a little bit different now again we just take all some of the trees and copy it up on to the ground onto the top of the podium level of the tower that's kind of it for the trees and we can just copy the same trees over there for the, to the final design option delete some of them so they don't look very similar to the ones that are there below we can even copy some trees to the top where we have created this subtraction and scale it down and create and copy it to wherever you need it to be placed now for the final thing let's just finish off with the plus sign so i'm just taking a, a rectangle and just copying it and that's it guys that's sort of it so I'm just, let's just finish off with the text that you guys need so i'm just going with a good thick font so that it's very it's very easy to read wherever you're putting it let's just copy it to the other places and rename it to whatever you need for the for according to your design and yeah that's sort of it so you, you see that you get a clean big or back angles group type section